Hey, how's it going everybody? So I got the brand new chicken run and chicken house put together out back and I am letting these out. These are primarily those F2 olive eggers, a special breed. And so they are coming out for the very first time. They're past the time that they're ready to be out. And so uh, I've cleared this coop out and I've put all those chickens back into the newly made run. And so these chickens will occupy this coop and run. So they are exploring for the very first time. They are pretty, pretty large birds. So I just wanted to get it on film and share it with you and get a good look at them for myself. It's kind of hard to see them through that little wire mesh. Some of them are some really good looking birds. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I think I do have a couple barred rock in the mix. They were just from some leftovers that I had finished hatching. As you can see, a lot of those olive eggers have mohawks, like the one that just stepped out there. I know there's one with a black body and a yellow head that really looks neat. <clears throat> and I took the turkeys out, oh, about four or five days ago. So the turkeys are now in their run. By the time you see this video, I'll have already posted the turkey video showing them in their new run. They want to come out, they're just scared. Maybe if I give them some treats. Let me do the trick. Oh, one came down. Oh, look. Some of those really have a really neat mohawk look to them, like that one on the far left. All right, we're over here at the new coop. Let me just show you what, what I made here. So I made this little shade structure off to the side of the main house. It's got a little pallet uh, roost. I've got a couple branches in there that they can also roost on. And just scrolling back here, that's just off to the right side. Their little water station. You've got all the goats, next door neighbors. Here's the main house. So just the same house that I always make for everything. It's a really neat design, I like it. And inside the house, I have a couple more roosting bars. I've got one there and then one in the back there, spaced out to where they're not pooping on each other and they're not pooping on their food and water, which is right near the doorway. So it'll be convenient for me to refill and replace. Got their next nest box, I think I'm gonna put the nest box on some uh, cinder blocks, just get it elevated off the ground. Shingled roof. Another shade structure to the left of the house. This is a pretty large shade structure. I got a pellet inside as a roosting area. And then off to the side here, and there's plenty of room in here. I've got their if they want to use a safe frame roosting, I had an old mound here. And so I just put the roosting bar on top of the mound and it's anchored in with some, uh, some uh, anchor ties, some T-posts. So I've got each of the four corners anchored in. And so it's probably about six foot tall from ground level. 
but I don't see that there any of the other chickens have been using it so I'm not quite sure if it just takes a while or if they just I know they don't mind being in the open sky under at night because the chickens over there have no problem with it so I'll just have to monitor it but if they don't use it that's why I put the other roosting bars in here I've got the pallet there and then the other structure over here has a pallet along with two roosting um, branches large branches so I've got plenty of roosting space in here I'm hoping to fit you know 30 birds in here give or take uh, I've probably got around 20 in here right now that I cleaned out uh, my zone one run so I've got a lot of adolescents in here I've got all my main egg laying barred rocks in here a few of them are molting uh, but I've got all my main egg layers in here now so this is going to be my primary catch-all run primarily females in here I'll have maybe one or two roos my rooster run is right next door I took the two females that I had in there and I put them in here so I've pretty much got all roos in there uh, save a couple uh, females that are retired and no longer producing eggs so this is what I've done this is what I've been working on I finally finished it up today I'm real real happy with it and just got it painted so I really really like it sorry for the sirens there <clears throat> so I certainly appreciate you checking out this video I certainly appreciate you checking out this channel and I hope you have a great day today in Yahweh and Yeshua's name Amen. Have a great day. Take care.